Hey, coach. Uh, before getting into the game, just want to know your feelings on just what the atmosphere was like tonight with the fans there. Uh, it was outstanding. Uh, you could really feel a difference when the players were warming up, uh, starting lineups, uh, beat LA. Uh, it, was, uh, it was very noticeable and everybody around the team felt the difference. And how, how much of a problem was Anthony Davis tonight? He, he seemed to basically keep them in the game. Well, he's a great player. Uh, you expect them, ex expect them to play through him, and uh, you know he delivered. But that being said, I, I do think that we made him work for it. Uh, Rocco primarily had the job of guarding him. Um, we we're a positive. You know, when you look at the plus minus, he was a minus eleven when he was on the, when uh, uh, Davis was on the floor. So I thought we made him work. Um, and uh, you know, the most important thing is we got to win. Thanks. Dwight James, NBC Sports Northwest. Jerry, what's your overall kind of uh, assessment of the game? It almost seemed like the tenseness of a playoff game, which is understandable given what was at stake, I guess. Did you have that feeling a little bit, especially defensively? Teams were kind of getting into each other a little more. Uh, yeah, I thought there was some urgency to the game uh, by both teams. Uh, obviously, what was at stake uh, uh, was both teams knew it. And uh, I think both teams played at that level. And then, you know, I think the for us in particular, you know, the Lakers are used to playing with fans. But I think for us, uh, having fans in the building brought uh, even more urgency for us. Jason Quick, The Athletic. Coach, uh, two weeks ago or whatever it was, after you guys lost to Memphis for the second time, I think Dame said, you know, he had to look at himself and, and, and play better. Um, and since then, you guys have really went on a tear. What have you seen from Dame? And is, I mean, I know we've seen this before from him, but do you feel this one is different because of the, where he was before uh, turning it on? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, you know, we've seen Dame has uh, historically been very good. Uh, second half of the season, particularly when, uh, you know, you can kind of see the finish line and the importance of the game. So I don't think it's anything different. I think the last, you know, six, seven games, he's been playing the way we know he can play. And, you know, he missed some games before that. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was missing some shots that he normally makes. But uh, I think the way he's playing is the way what we've seen from Dame for the last nine years. Uh, that's what he does. And as a coach, how valuable is it to have that kind of card up your sleeve? Well, let's face it, this, this is a player's league. And when you have great players uh, go down the list throughout the league, when you have a great player on your team, you're going to rely on that great player. And that's what we do with Dame. Age McCord, coin. Coach, it's really easy as we get towards the end of the season, five games left, to sort of play that matchup game. I mean, if you're the sixth seed, then you're this. And as you look at that matchup, just talk about how important that sixth seed in particular is to avoid the play in as opposed to potentially looking at matchups. Well, I don't think anybody's looking at matchups, but obviously uh, you want to stay out of the play in uh, no matter what the matchups are because. In a one game, anything can happen. So uh, the priority of finishing sixth isn't about a matchup. It's about avoiding the, uh, the sudden death of the play-in.